It's Friday, May 12, 2023. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3. Trinidad firearms dealer Brent Thomas is quoted as saying he thought he was going to die when he was apprehended in Barbados and taken to Trinidad. In a sworn affidavit, he said that he was locked up in what he called a black hole in a Trinidad police station and that he was handcuffed and dragged across his hotel room in Barbados, placed in a cage at the back of a police vehicle, violently forced into an aircraft and spent days in a facility where he was forced to defecate in a hole in the ground. There's been a reported security breach at the Cane Garden Municipal Complex in St. Thomas. There, a man delivered a package containing cell phones, drugs and other electronic items to a prisoner in a cell. The Observer newspaper in Jamaica is reporting that a meeting called to discuss the way to implement the University of the West Indies proposed new gender policy has been postponed in the face of increased resistance. According to Observer sources, People who do business with the university and students have now joined lecturers opposed to the proposed policy. Trinidad-owned Massey Holdings Limited has announced that Robert Bermudez has resigned as chairman effective yesterday. He has been a director since 1997 and chairman since 2014. He is being replaced as chairman by Trinidad businessman Robert Riley. Lawyers for American actress Angela Bassett have told the Antigua government to stop using her pictures and images and calling her a tourism ambassador for the country. They say photos taken during a trip there last week by the actress were done without the customary prior approvals and without the parties signing the necessary release agreement. Government spokesman Lionel Hur says the decision to appoint Bassett was an on-the-spot decision by Prime Minister Gaston Brown. The Food and Drug Administration in the U.S. is making it easier for gay and bisexual men to donate blood. The old recommendations barred men from donating blood if they'd had sexual contact with another man in the last three months. The new guidelines do away with sexual orientation, sex, or gender identity as a prohibition. Instead, people will not be able to donate blood if they have had a new sexual partner or more than one sexual partner and anal sex in the last three months. Today's weather forecast, mostly sunny with occasional cloudy periods. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3.